And welcome back. So we're going to go play some Fallout New Vegas Honest Hearts DLC. Now we're going to be mostly focusing on the main questing of this. Uh, we'll do the side questing after we get like close to the end quest type of thing. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe button. I hope everyone enjoys this series. And let's get into playing some Fallout New Vegas. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah, you look the type. Wait a minute, I recognize you. Yeah, you're Alice McLafferty's rising star, ain't you? You sure you want to be here? McLafferty's non-competes are pretty rigid. Just like that, huh? <laughs> you got guts, I'll give you that. You sure you want to jump in blind? Ain't got no questions about where we're going or why? I bet you are. But you ain't going nowhere loaded down like a pack Brahmin. Huh. I do believe... Are you now? I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame him. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. All right, people. Been a long couple of weeks, but here we are. Zion. I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired. But I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. 
Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't, we've got the maps on our friend's Pip-Boy over there. Enough lollygagging. Get moving. And keep an eye out for tribals. Sorry to bother you with reality. Oi, 
White legs don't leave survivors often. You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. You came from outside, didn't you? From the civilized lands. Wow. Joshua will want to hear about this. Joshua Graham. He leads our tribe. Thanks to him, the dead horses are strong and safe from our enemies. He'll want to talk to anyone coming up from Southways. I guess that means just you now. Come, I can take you to him. Good cysts. We head east then. Places. Places from back when. With, like the shadow of a ghost.
Hoi. Auslander Zuka Joshua Graham. You know our tongue. Smart, Auslander. Joshua in high place of K. You show respect, Utman. Joshua is greatest warrior. You show him no respect. He show you thunder and fire. You wise for Auslander. We should have given you a better welcome on your first visit to Zion. But from what I hear, the White Legs beat us to it. White Legs seem to be the only visitors we have these days. And I wouldn't have expected anyone from the Mojave to come looking for us. And you're a courier, no less. Not the one I was expecting, but I suppose he wouldn't have come with a caravan. I don't know if you were close to the other members of your group, but you have my sympathy. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion, even Gentiles. But we can't expect God to do all the work. Happy trails. I remember. They were good friends. I have bad news for your employers. New Canaan was destroyed, its citizens scattered. All because of the White Legs. And Caesar, of course. The White Legs want to join the Legion. Caesar's rite of passage is the destruction of the new Canaanites, almost assuredly because of me. The good news is that we can help you find your way back. Daniel, one of the other new Canaanites, has made many maps of the region. The bad news is that we can't help you right now, not with everything that's going on. You're a good neighbor to us. We all go through periods of darkness. In such times, we can turn to the Lord, but it's good to have friends. Daniel and I need pre-war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate, these instruments will be vital to us. Normally, we would have some of the dead horses or sorrows look for them, but many pre-war buildings in the valley are taboo. They won't go inside. Thank you. Follows Chomp can help you find your way around the valley. He's inexperienced, but he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war buildings. So when we come back, we will be continuing doing the DLC known as uh, Honest, uh, Honest Hearts, and we'll continue doing so. Uh, we'll probably visit locations on the way to the next area. To the next area. That's how I'm gonna do it. Uh, anything really far out of the way, we'll do kind of when we're close to the end mission. That, that's the plan. Anyways, hope everyone enjoyed this series so far. Hope everyone's enjoyed the gameplay so far. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll see you again soon.